Hi friends, welcome to the class of Formal Language and Automata Theory. Coming to the question number 9. Construct a pushdown automata that accepts the language a power n, b power n plus m, then followed by a power m, where m comma n is greater than or equals to 1. So first of all, we'll check it. Can we construct the pushdown automata? So you can check it out. What are the comparisons a power n with the b power n? And of course, b power n plus m means, can I write it as b power n followed by b power n? Yes, I can make it. Then this is a power m, this is a power m. I'm rewriting this one like this. So b power n plus m can be written as b power n into b power m. So I'll check like a power number of a's with the number of b's. If all are matched, if this completes, then b, I'll check it out. b with number of b's and then matching with the a's. So like this, I can construct. We'll see this one, how to do this problem. That is my logic is number of a's, if I get a, I'll push into the stack. Anyway, first symbol must be a, not b. So number of a's, I'll push it. Uh, when I get b, I'll pop one a. Like this, I'll pop. If I get z naught, if I get z naught, that is the bottom of the stack, then again, I need to get b only b comma z naught then have to push all the b's then i have to compare with a see here the rem you have to remember one point like a power n b power n here b power m a power n that means number of a's here should be equals to number of b's and here number of b should be equals to number of s i'll write the language here like if i take n comma n both are one like a b b a if I take n value as something 2, m value as 1, so a, a, b, b, and m value as 1, if I take b, a. So like this also, I can get. So n value, n, n value as 1, if I take a, comma b, I'll get. m value as 2, if I take b, b, a, a, I'll get. Like this, I'll get. So I'll write the transition here from q0 I'll start anyway first symbol must be a I'll take here stack stack initial symbol is z0 what is the first symbol I'll get in, in the strings definitely a only a comma z0 that is a z0 I'm pushing now what is the next symbol I'll get I can get a or b it depends on n value if I get a on a I have to push anyway that is a comma a a, a that is n number of times I need to do that is a self loop whenever get a, get a I'll push it like a if I get one more a let us suppose I'll take this one so one more a I'm pushing into the stack now when I get b what I need to do so when I get b what I am doing with respect to top of the stack is anyway you will find here a I have to pop one a that means this will be popped and this can be done for n number of that is b's that is b comma a that is epsilon so one more b that means whenever you have b comma a then only you are popping let us suppose you can see here for one b one a is popped for one b one a is popped why because top of the stack is a now you can see for this a b is only your input but what is the top of the stack z naught then you are not popping remember this part so whenever you have this b this will be executed whenever you have this b this will be executed whenever you have this b this both this will not be executed you can observe why because here the input is b only but top of the stack is not here here z naught so when you get a z naught what you need to do you need to push it why because that means this part is over now you are checking for this part so that i'll write here in the next one that is whenever i get input is b top of the stack is z0 you are pushing that that is b, b z0 now you in your stack you will find only b here like if after b you will get a number of b's anyway here you have one b you may get more than one b also why because if i take m value or something other than other than one you will get number of b's for that purpose i'll write here whenever you have b and top of the stack is also b you have to push it so if you get some more b here i am pushing all those things but when you get a what you need to do and top of the stack now you will find only b not a so then you have to pop then 
q3 so this can be happen for a number of x so a comma b epsilon so finally you need to have epsilon here z naught and z naught you need to go for final state here you need to remember whatever you have done for a power n b power n here that is reversed here simply you can observe a comma z naught a z naught i have written but here i have written b comma z naught because here the first symbol is a here the first symbol is b but anyway this must be that is this must be followed by this one that's why first i have written this one and here in place of a i substituted b here wherever i have a comma a here you have b comma b so here if i have b comma a i'm popping here if i have a comma b i'm popping so like this finally i need to have epsilon that is string is completed then toss in the stack also it is empty that means only you find z naught and then you then only you will go for final state so this is q4 so this is the final state so like this you need to answer for the questions asked for this sort of the type we will see the next concept in the next video lecture thank you